Howdy, howdy. This is Blue Otter. We are continuing in Freshwater Frenzy in Meta Mega Aquarium with Hitama. And we are working on saving up money so that we can build that huge jetty tank that will fit right here in this center area. Uh, where we're going to have a jetty tank with three different animals and all requirements met. But one thing I do have access to is I do have access to being able to do this backpack dispenser. Now one thing that I am doing is that because I have these, uh, the auto feed station, it kind of bypasses a lot of need for doing uh, the back, these backpack stations. Um, so I'm still going to try to have one. Um, how much are the backpack stations? $10,000. Okay, that is a lot of money. I did not realize that they were going to be that much. Uh, but we did unlock it. Um, and I will have at least one of them so I can show you what they do. Um, they are cool. Uh, if you don't have this mod, uh, because I've, I've really what it does is it helps you with feeding the animals uh, because they're going to be carrying more food and it would help because there are some uh, animals that they're not going to be able to have and feed so who's upset you're tired Okay, so what we'll be able to do, uh, we'll be able to do the jetty tank, uh, no problem. Uh, we're just going to, but we're going to go and let this flow uh, while we are going to do some quality and life improvements uh, for uh, some of these. And then we're going to work on uh, increasing our overall... Thanks. So now we have the standard auto feeder um, because it is a uh, it is a mod that allows you to access these auto feeders before rank 12. Uh, so one of the things I want to do, I think, is I want to do some items that are going to help generate money. And one of those items is the reusable bag shelf. So we're just going to um run that one and we're just going to keep going all right so black mangrove cichlid this is one of those that i want to put in this jetty tank uh, so we're going to pick the next research and i think i actually had picked the next one that i wanted which was also a rank five and it was another cichlid uh, he is pretty um uh, some of these fish are just so pretty. And then I look and see in their cold water. Um, things like this, the lemon tetra would be really kind of cool. Because you have like 10 of them. Um, the lavender tang was really pretty. Um, I, however, want... He is a wimp. And I think so pretty. Well, he's only gonna be two. Um, yeah, we're gonna do him. All right, and we're letting it run um, at a longer, at, at a faster pace, just because I want it to be able to. Um, I want to be able to run these with um, uh, I want I just want to be able to run it uh, a little bit faster a second so we're going to we're gonna actually just open this up uh, now what I have planned is eventually these are going to 
I'm gonna fill these out because I wanna have another tank here, but I had to have the power tank and all my money is gonna go towards uh, that with the exception of some of these other ones. So we're going to first, we're gonna put in two two by three tanks there we go and we're just going to let it go although Actually, do it like this. Oh, wrong one. Because I need six thousand for why it did that. Okay. Um, if you move the mouse ever so finicky all right so there's the reusable bag shelf that will help now let's look at rank five um let's get the uh freshwater frenzy meg mug shelf uh elliot has leveled up so we're gonna do a uh, cleaning make sure that we're keeping on top of those tasks Hanigurami, that's going to be a good one for that. And then I want... Um, now we'll get the peacock cichlid. It's going to be over here now. Um... And I'm thinking I might do the... Yeah, we're going to do a Lemon Tetra, too. Alright. So we're going to bring that down. So let's... Really quickly... Uh, what did I say I was going to put in here? I wanted the honey one. It has to have at least five. So we have one, two, three, four, five... And we are going to, we're going to do a power pump and we're going to connect this one to this tank. And then we're going to connect, uh, we're going to use another one of these. This is what I love about these. We're going to take one. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to connect it to that one. Now, suddenly all of these start to have issues, but now I can come over here and uh, actually we're going to, I can put one over here. I could put really one against any of these and suddenly now I have now I have some business with how these are run, uh, and we can while we have this game paused and I do have the money for it, we're going to go ahead and sell these because what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of investing in this tank to this tank and then we're going to invest uh, this tank in that tank Um, that tank to 
this tank. Uh, now, I really am going to want to have large amounts of Um, that's not really what I want, though. Alright, so what I really want, we're going to... Um, we're going to move this one over here for right now. Uh, we can move this right there. Add that tank to that tank, which means we can move this over here. Um, that may not be how it stays, but that's how it's going to be for right now, uh, which means I don't need all this huge amount of extra space. Um, they still need plants though. So we're going to give them an Amazon sword. I can do this with, there we go. And actually I take it back cause I'm gonna need, cause I was gonna put another tank right there. Uh, we're going to, what fish do I have that I haven't added yet? Um, all of them, because the mangrove is going to go into the other one. Alright. So that was a small thing. And I may end up, um, I may end up deciding that I need to expand this even further. So, yeah, we're going to have to, I take it back, we're going to have to add this back, and we're going to have to move this, um, right here. Um, and this is going to have to be moved right here. Um, so we can add this tank, and then this one, we can add that tank. That's much better, and gives me a little bit of room for expansion, in addition to having that. So, what I might do... Um, Alright, so what do these guys eat? These guys eat the orange... So we're going to come over here, we're going to do the mini auto feeder, and we're going to come over here, and you're going to do the orange pellet. Um, awesome. Alright. So we've got a nice little small fresh water. I'm going to do this jetty and I'm going to actually have the jetty be um, also these. I think what we might do instead one. Now what we could do is we could uh, over here to there and there so that's uh, and then we can do this one was both of those so we could connect this one to that one because what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up 
And then we're going to have... I'm I'm torn between trying to figure out where I could put a bathroom over here because they definitely the people want a bathroom. I just don't want it to be like really right there, but I don't want it to be right behind the wall either. So what we could do is we could just open that up, but we're going to, we're going to pick our next ecology project. project. Uh, which is... See, I'd love to have a toggle like up here where I could do like fresh water, cold water, or even just a a quick button where I could filter it and I could pick like one thing. Um, so this will be 13 after 10 days. Um... That would be good for a small one. Here it is, the Grant's Peacock Cichlid. This will grow to five, and I can get some decent mileage out of that. So what I was going to do is I was going to take this, and we we're just going to open it up um, to, and then I'm going to take that and we're going to open it like that. But so I want to make sure that staff have access. So they are going to be able to run across. Uh, we are going to then add uh, our toilets. Uh, the basic toilet right there. One, two. Um, and they will be able to go here and then I might be able to add like another tank over here um, and continue um, it would be if I do that it would be just a small tank uh, not anything particularly large close those up Um, but I may have to, after this, because we are going to be running low on some of the freshwater fish, I may want to consider, uh, holding off on some of the freshwater fish so I can expand the saltwater side. Um, and we're going to speed this up. There's the Freshwater Frenzy mug shelf. We will do um, the padded bench. Let me go real quickly. We're going to add a gift shop. So we're going to add the reusable bag. We're going to add, slow this down so I can actually do this, um, reusable bag supply, we're going to move this bench right there, we will do, um, corner shelf just so that it looks it add a little bit of prestige but um, it doesn't really do much beyond that and then we're going to we've got the shelf there now we've got the freshwater frenzy uh, mugs and then we need to do the freshwater frenzy mug display 
which means I need to get someone in that can do a gift shop. Or I need to train somebody. Uh, who can I get on the cheap? Um... Let's see if anybody, if any of these, ah. Miko, uh, yeah, you're gonna learn gift shop, poncho, feeding, Nancy, fixing. Inventor, we are working on this. We're almost, I just, I'm being picky and, okay. So I do have the fish unlocked that I'm gonna put in the jetty. Um, now we just need to unlock more fish. Fly River Rainbow Fish. This uh, might be good to do a, a bit longer tank. Um, then I have some tilapia. Uh, here's a sunfish. So I think we're going to... Um, do there's a Japanese crayfish. Um, yeah, we're going to do that melon. So again, we're just looking at trying to increase ah. and there is our Betty tank. Now, what we're going to need to do is we're going to uh, close all of this off. I am going to have a staff door. Um, actually, right over here. Um, awesome. So what we're going to do is we are going to go in and we're going to put in uh so i can't have territorial if there's more than one combined size uh must not exceed 20 percent of the tank's capacity so i have 245 i don't think i'm going to have any problem this is a bully so i'm not going to be able to have any wimps uh, is freshwater greedy and eats vegetables so what we're going to do is we're going to put in it goes up tonight so we're going to do one uh two three just to kind of get enough of a size this one we have to have at least one or five so i of course i don't have enough money um that is unfortunate um so we are going to first uh, we're going to get some vegetables. Um, that's going to be our first objective. And then our second objective is I don't have enough money for, um, for the heat. So I am going to be able to get, there we go. Uh, so what we're going to do is first grab that. And then we're going to add a second tank to this one. Now that's going to throw everyone into chaos. Um, but what we're going to do. Um, I'm not going to worry about it because I've, I've got a plan. Uh, we are going to... As soon as I can make some money, we're going to. And I do. I am going to need some official heaters. Uh, this is going to at least do the filtration. 
And then we're going to need to do the large heater and a large heater. And that gives us enough heating and filtration um, for this. Uh, now, really quickly, because I want to make sure that I have as much space as possible uh, to really move around back here. Um, now that I know that that's enough, and if I need to continue to build, I can always add more in there. Um, so that was just the Black Grove. There's the Melon Bar, which will uh, go great with some of the fish that I have planned. And let's see. Um... At least the fish I have planned don't, uh, while they grow big, they don't necessarily, uh, they're not going to attack others. Uh, okay. So let's, I'm bound to determine I'm going to end up clicking on, was it crazy fish? Okay, um... Let's... Pick, I don't want to spend too much time... Let's do that one, that was what I was looking at. Alright. So, we do have that one. Alright, you win! Impressive work! Hitama was once just a small marine aquarium now it is a well-known throughout the land for its fresh water exhibits however all good things must come to an end you we've re you've received word of an interesting project in pascova and they want you to head it up you can continue to build here at here at hitama for as long as you want this message will stay in your message log uh, accessible via the button um, when you're ready to find out what this exciting project is let me know Here is our first freshwater aquarium tour. 
Come over here. We have food and drink. We have small little gift shop area. Some salt water tanks. First fresh water tank. We're up here on the jetty. And then you can look over and see. Oh, we're going to actually walk on top of the water. Uh, a lot of the fish are actually hovering around below. Um, but let's look and see. So these are the fish that they originally had. Um, not too bad. Uh, but definitely see where... Uh, now we've got some fresh water with these were the penguin tetras there's the rainbow and the neon tetras the little platy fish uh, i love platies uh, sunset plays are my favorite but i'll take any platies uh here's the honey gouramis um that were cute and then i believe these were the uh blind tetras so they are there. And then here are the Zebra Danios, which I've actually had before. Uh, so it is a small little aquarium, but it is a quaint little aquarium. Uh, so with that, we are going to uh, leave Hitama and we are going to be moving to uh, pa um, Paskova, I believe, is our next one. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you next time.